try this. All right. Well, we've got a Yeti going now. Hopefully, it is not <clears throat> crazy, but I will have to. I have monitor output on. Test it all the way. My uh, first uh, roof is done. Okay. All right, we'll try this. Anyone, uh, I guess, in the chat? Sounds a little better, Ham. All right, well, we will see if. Uh, let's see, put my gain on this bad boy. Go here. Let's go. One of those. Hopefully, you guys can hear the table talk. We'll go to. So whoever wanted to know uh, if we could get a God mode, oop, that's a little loud. If I can get a God mode uh, uh, camera, you're welcome. I got you one. So <laughs> Matt's head might dip in and out, but not much I can do about that. <laughs> not much I can do about that. You turn Matt. Yes, sir. All right. Hopefully. This will solve all our problems. Much better, thank you, Ham. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that works out. All right. Um, for those of you who are wondering, we are doing uh, Epic again. Uh, as you can see on the right-hand side, Matt has Infiltrate and Extraction. Tommy has Search and Destroy and Demoralize. So, those two things are going to be going on there. Uh, I want that. There we go. Test one, two. Yeah. All right. Hopefully that works and doesn't break anything. So, okay. Good. <sighs> Sorry to hold up. <clears throat> uh, we made some minor changes to some of the scenarios. In particular, building da uh, building HP, uh, the bunkers, you will notice now um, face inwards to each other. Uh, that's a bad, bad scene there. Over here you can see the bunkers facing towards the center now. So, um, might be able to give you a, the better ability to shoot at the door if you can't quite get your infantry there. But, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, that will change that a little bit. Uh, we changed Blackout. The towers now have a 20 HP. Um, you might notice uh, some little pegs on top of the buildings. Matt has marked um, which building Tommy needs to search for in Search and Destroy. Uh, those four buildings in the center are what uh, Tommy is going for. He needs to be within two inches of the building in order to scan. And uh, he's looking for a UV marker, so he uses his special UV light <coughs> on mechs and most vehicles. And during the end of the movement phase, I believe, <laughs> He scans a building <coughs> and reveals if it's the one with a marker underneath. And then if it is, he gets to shoot it. Shoot it! So, I'm gonna go... Excuse myself here for a second. Hopefully you guys can pick up Matt and Tommy's tabletop. Looks like you can. Let's see. <coughs> Let's do... And then before you guys get to... Um, nope, remember, edge of the mat, Matt. Oh. Sure. Basically think of this as your deployment zone. It changes so often. I know. Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> corrected. Uh, <coughs> Ram out or seed, vulture seed, correct? Correct. <coughs> the county will be the vulture uh, prime or gray. All right. They brought back the dice box cam. Dice box! Okay. Uh, let's see. I suppose there's any way I can fit that. Okay. Combat group one is set. <clears throat> Two of them being glued up right now. Right my epic will definitely be changing once those two get added to my rapport. Uh, my second unit is uh, done. CG2 is done. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I might have to knock my elite down to skill two or a skill three. <clears throat> uh, Tommy, gnomes of the tier. Okay. I'll try not to screw that up like last. I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I'll keep you reminded. I'm not gonna let you fail. I appreciate it. Uh, Feels good testing again. I don't know about you guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Telestration and highlights on the mouse. That is a ways out. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Uh, good future plans. That is going to be a ways away. Ways away. Not going to fly. But we are willing to learn. Second combat groups up. CG2 is done. Okay. Coach, Yo. you got a job on this. Good setup. Yeah, I, uh, Got a little crazy last time on the, uh, on the, uh... Got a little crazy? 
Um, <laughs> on the camera setup. Hey, nobody can ever say Done. you can't try. You can't take. Hey, that's true. And we are devoid of commentators tonight, so we'll oh, try really? to talk through as much as we can, and I'll pay attention <laughs> to the chat. I can do that. I can do that. Oop. <laughs> Put Wolfnet swag on your Patreon. Can you put Wolfnet swag on your patron tiers? I'm on the West Coast and won't be able to attend any 350 tournaments. Mm -hmm. West Coast, there's one going on in uh, in Los Angeles, uh, May 25th. Hey yo, uh, Strategicon. Get your tickets. In Pretty your, sure. In your badge. 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 Um, <laughs> badge is in Bravo. Gotcha. <laughs> Not Victor? Not Victor. <laughs> no Victor vaginas. No Victors here. Red Rover, Red Rover, send your veto right over. Oh, I know what he means. <coughs> he means like our our templates um, and other stuff. You well, can, Patreon. Like existing ones. You can find those at Aries Games and Miniatures. LA is too far away. Oh no. What about LVO? <coughs> the match and then move it around. Set. Oh, right. we'll see. <coughs> uh, I don't know. Commentators uh, kind of were busy. Yes. Initiative. Let me start the clock. Yeah, so Matt has to. You want the little guy? Case Matt has to uh, sure. get across the, the board. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly! I gotta get across for, the board for both of his objectives. He's gotta take that building in the in the over oh. on Tommy's side Can't and the bunkers.
He's got some salamanders. He's got a skill one crimson langur. He's got some big stuff. These are the same lists as last week. Um, if anyone is wondering. So. <clears throat> also, there is combat movement in here, so uh, combat group movement is basically you have to form um, units into combat groups based on your battle armor squad size. Uh, and your um, faction era dependent and then uh, so you move each group as one so that's how that works first one down <coughs> <coughs> It's the best people are going to get. You play the way you want to play, Matt. Stop learning. Nope. Ooh, never. Uh, and we're going to Chupacabracon. No, I'm not. Could you use a laser pointer to point at what you're talking about? I probably could. Oof. Go and get the Johnson out. Johnson. I'm not big, I'm not big enough a man for a Johnson. this to go to a... Don't, don't, don't burn yourself. <laughs> I was about to say the same Maybe, maybe I'm going to use the anybody, anybody making a bet how long it takes coach to figure out a laser? I'm going to definitely beam myself in the eye. I'm going to say that. 30 seconds. To a minute. I know that's going to happen. Hondo Percento. So, let's see, does that show up? Yeah, it kind of does. We got Matt Storm Curl right there. I wonder if I still have the Telestrator saved on the uh, There was a way. Let's see, tools, scripts. Hmm. <coughs> Let's maybe uh, go see if we can go find one.
Oh, I know there's one around here somewhere. A sprinting unit search. A sprinting unit. I don't know. Does it say on the card? <clears throat> I love it when a question is not a question. <laughs> First combat group done. No. <laughs> Then a sprinting unit can search. I recommend that we change that rule. Hold on, let me double check the rules. Make a note. Let me double check them. Double check these babies. That's what we're here for. You're on what? Search and destroy? Yep. It doesn't say you can't. Do you want to play that you can't? Or should we play it you can and find out if it's broke as shit? Find out if it's broke as shit. I like your answer. And make a note. I like your answer. <clears throat> so as of right now, we are going to allow units to sprint and search. Okay. This is going to get messy fast in the middle. Yes, sir! <clears throat> to uh, nominate the title of this to be uh, Part the Waters. Part the Waters. Okay. Blood, blood, blood Baths Reserve. Well, that's not helping me at all. Can I draw it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. All right, when it says it's on level one, that means it's skids are on level one? Yep. So if you go over a level <clears> one? <throat> Goat. What's that? I'm new to VTOLs. Okay. When it says I'm at a level one, does that mean I could go over a level one? No, that means you would land on the level one hill. And you need one inch of elevation between you and the ground. So I need to be a level so, two to go over a so level one? So if you're at level one, that means if you go over a level one hill, you're, you're, the bottom of your VTOL would scrape the hill. So always be a level above what you're going to pass over. Correct. Okay. Be at a two. You get small water. It's out of propane. What? figured out why I can't get YouTube chat on this stupid thing. Let me try to turn it off and on again. Your turn, Matt. <laughs> oh boy. So I gotta keep going back. Uh, let's see, sprinting search doesn't seem like something that's feasible. Uh, you spray the light and it really well. Yeah, <laughs> you spray the UV light and. 
look for it. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Um, Al does it. Oh, AI does it clearly. Is that AI or Al? I don't know. If you're sprinting, sprinting, wouldn't you be totally focused on your movement and trying to keep that machine upright? True, but you're looking at, I mean, they do have a 360 degree HUD and you're on UV light, so if you spot <clears throat> if you spot like, because the the, the, bank, the the building is uh, presumably painted in a UV special paint that the enemy is only supposed to be able to see, but through some great intelligence work, Tommy's information uh, arm of his military capabilities have found out that UV light will uh, clearly tell which building it is. The problem is UV light doesn't uh, go very far. Two inches. It goes two inches. Correct. And alpha strike. Mech equals artificial intelligence tank equals the... <laughs> I got you. So, but that's what, uh, that's what playtesting is all about. Is to... Uh, <coughs> See what works, see what doesn't. I mean, we can always claim that uh, um, we know the best on everything, but mm. we've proven ourselves wrong on that plenty of times, so that's why we test. I'm kind of limited on my, let's see, that's his charger and his dragonfly over there that he's looking at moving his terror infantry transport, it looks like. The charger in the blue and the dragonfly in the kind of brown hiding behind those two spires. Like he's gonna just move fast. They go fast. They like to go fast. Uh, for those of you are joining, uh, the kind of uh, <laughs> blue circles on the map, those are water. Uh, we thought about going with ice, but water just made more sense. We did originally we're gonna go with some deep snow, but I think we opted to go with that. Let's see, in the close one, looks like he's going to try to move his Asher. Um, that's his Stormcrow hiding behind that spire. The black speckled vulture over there is his Contio? Rymodder. Oh, Rymodder. <coughs> Rymodder, yeah. So that's a Rymodder right over there. Let's see if I can go to, let's see, let's go studio mode, that's the list stu here, stu studio. Do, 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 do. let's add in, let's go, move this, oh, let's a little big, big here. We'll transition over Matt's list here. As you can see. So to go over some, let's go, let's see, let's see what this Rhyme Otter is. It's a 5.50, 16 inch ground movement, 10 inch jump movement. Has jump week one. Melee, Ami. Pretty good armor and Structure stout yeah. man, so it's a stout boy. Pretty hey, good. Pretty those. good for a medium mech, I will say. Mm. 
What are each side's objectives? Okay, we can. I can go through that again. Red player would be Matt. He has got Infiltrate, which is basically bunkers from the Alpha Strike 350 uh, for his main objective. And he has, so each bunker he destroys or infiltrates is one objective point. And then he, as a secondary, has Extraction, which means he needs to get to the big building on Tommy's side in base-to-base -base contact. Uh, during the end phase, he loads up his on the roof. target on the roof or on the side of the building, either one. What? Yeah, it's base to base with the contact or contact with the building. Has to be VTOL or any transport? Any transport with IT1. Okay. Has to have IT1. That's the only. <clears throat> um, originally, we were going to go with just VTOLs, but then that got a little. Gitarian. Little. Uh, Excessive. Specific. Uh, Tommy's got search and destroy. He needs to search the four buildings along the center line of the map uh, for UV paint marking the enemy's supply depot. He gets one objective point for identifying the building and one objective point for destroying the building. Uh, I can see right now that the CV value for the building is wrong on this. It is 20. I will change that right now. Uh, let's see, a big blue fire. Do, do, do. Settings. Push your low key on and that is eight of an inch. <clears throat> 20 CV. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Fixed it. Uh, so those are his, uh, that's his main objective, and his second objective is demoralize. He needs to destroy 50 PV of his Thank opponent you. to achieve one objective point. And those are their objectives. Uh, for those of you who are new, also in the right hand corner, that is my little, uh, map showing where the camera is in relation to the board. You can see that this uh, this camera is kind of on Tommy's left hand side uh, and so this one is on Matt's left hand side. So hopefully this is uh, nice and easy for everybody. If not Throw it in the comments. Let me know what I can do better. Hi, Frank. Jonathan, way to join the show. Uh, the Sea Foxes do have a functioning watch, it does seem. So. <laughs> Just arriving. What happened to... Uh, that. What happened to... Because the... That's why we test comment. Uh, oh. Um, three, which is six. To answer you, Frank... Uh, we did not specif specify in our rule set if sprinting units can scan buildings for UV light or UV paint. So we decided that we were going to allow sprinting units to uh, scan for UV paint. And if it is too broken, then we will add in that you cannot. So that's how we'll go with that. Um, Jonathan forgot it was Thursday. How can you forget it's Thursday? You should be looking forward to this day every day of the week. But why doesn't the map show terrain and unit placement? Really half-assing the mini-map. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> I'll work on that next time. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Looks like he's gonna move his and her.
Ooh, he's going over this way. He faked me out. See that, guys? He faked me out. I had him going the other way, and now he's going this way. Blue attack! Oh, my bad. Oh, uh, can I search buildings first? Uh, that is during the end of the movement phase, correct? Yep. So yes, you are allowed to search, to search one or any of them that I'm in. I believe it is search one per unit. When the enemy is more exploring, use a search ability on all max and da, 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 opponent's place. So right now it is units must be within two inches, and they can only uh, they can only do one one unit can search one building. So yeah, I guess technically, if you sprinted everybody, you can find it. Uh, ooh, that sounds that sounds bad. Sounds like an action. But you're not two inches. I have two. I have one unit that's two inches away, and I have one unit that's sprinted that is face to face. Where's your other two inch unit? Oh, I got you. I would recommend scan be an action. That don't look like two inches to me. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I'm going to be biased, but I'm going to say no scan on sprint. No scan on sprint. But that's a that's that's me being an opponent. <laughs> I mean, we've got to make a rule now, so I, I will allow to, uh, Tommy to... Tommy, what did you say earlier? I agree with no scan on sprint. Okay, so we're going no scan on sprint, and I'll let Tommy inch his VTOL just about a quarter inch so he can scan one. Make a note to see if it would change if it was. I will, I will, we can, we can rewatch the video and see if, if that made a difference, so. Well then I'm scanning that building. Okay, so you lift up the thing and, sorry everybody. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so we have come to the consensus that you cannot sprint and scan. Because you're focused on sprinting. You're focused on sprinting and you're not focused on sprinting. All right. I would agree. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it does kind of go in line with the Alpha Strike 350 rules because the only thing you can do to sprinting is counting your mass or contesting yeah. in a space. So you're okay. really not doing anything other than just being there. This, you're actually scanning for something. So. Look at that, guys. We talked it through. Why is my dice cam not showing up? Uh, deployment. Four, five, six, seven, nine, seven. Nine, set your veto from my Etona. There it is. I did not add the veto extra die. So we've got Ten. Epona to where? Yes. This? Yep. Tens, they're oh, no. to attack, to oh, heat. No. Tens, miss. Oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Damn tag shooting at this That's the E I can do. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelves. Twelves from the DI. You can do it. Ooh, Ooh nice. close. Twelve to where? Or no, it was twelve. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. One of the VTOLs. Oh, I've VTOL. got attacker map here. Why is VTOL that? VTOL on VTOL action. We need attacker blue. Sorry, buddy. Well, <laughs> V on V action. Well, V on V action. Flat. 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 Flat.
<laughs> All right, green are my black. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelves. Yes. Minus. Minus two is ten. It's feasible. It's feasible. Four on number one. Oro is oh, shooting. Shit, there's one. There's one. Which one were flat? Green was flat. <laughs> oh no! You get a hit. Hit. Hit on the Donner. Motive. Motive. Six. Donner takes a hit. Plus two for Beetle, seven, eight. That's nothing. Oh. If your card sleeves are too glossy to get a good wet erase to make a nice line, run your finger over it and it'll mark just fine. Second, second, Oro, twelves. Oro number two. But that's a ten for the green, so there's another hit on the downer. Nikes! Two on the downer. Ouch. Here's the motive check second. That's uh, 8 plus 2 is 10. 10. That's minus a mode of minus 2, two. minus 1. That's going to suck. Bingo. <laughs> oh, no. That's half movement, isn't it? Pull up, Tinkerbell. Minus a 10? I think a 10 is a half, total of half move minus 1 TMM. Minus two or inches. Minus fifty, minus fifty. No, it's minus two, minus, minus two, minus oh. one. Oh. I got this motive thing under you, control. You got, you got that down, huh? He's down to six. I thought I did two, but and he's got a TMM of two now. Okay. Oh baby. No. Tommy, kill him. Kill him, Smalls. Kill him. You got it. You're, you're good. We're good. Just, just a little hiccup in the uh, gyro stabilizer there. <laughs> Nearest is going to fire at your uh, Contio. He's a trick guy. Uh, don't forget about stealth. All right. Going with Contio, huh? Yep. Hey, Tommy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to throw a green piece by a stealth stuff, okay? Okay. Ten. Yes. Yes. The Contio and the... Swing and a miss. Rogues have stuff. Four, five, six, tens. What are we shooting? Uh, the opponent's going to shoot the dasher. Oh, no. Opponent uh, to the dasher. <clears throat> That's going to hurt. Two, uh, two attack, two uh, heat. Four, five, six, tens. Tens to hit. Oh, there's one. There's one. One damage, one heat. To what? Uh, the dasher. 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 Oh. Thanks, Tommy. Bink and a heat. No problem. Anytime, but no problem. <laughs> well. Yeah. 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 Loki is going to fire at your Ryokin. Three. Loki to the Ryokin. Three. Ooh, I don't know. A better Please shot. Oh, yep. oh. There we go. That's a better shot. Alright. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Loki Three. to the Ryokin. Ten. There we go. Oh shit, I don't know. Team, I'm gonna... There. I 
from way over there. And you can't even see it. So there's only two days. All right. Uh, uh, two attack, two heat. Two attack, two heat. Loki to the Ryokin. Loki to the Ryokin. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Another ten. Damn. Oh. There's one. There's one. One damage. One damage to the Ryokin. One damage, one heat. One damage, one heat. Put right. them heat tokens out. Here comes my Ryokins in heat. <laughs> the storm crows in heat. Ooh, try nice, right. nice control this time. <laughs> and this is my blue, a uh, blue, uh, blue red deck. Your blue green red deck. This is my blue, blue red deck. True, Greg. Ares Games and Miniatures can sell you some fine Lipco heat trackers. That is true. So you go to Ares Games and Minis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Getting ahead of yourself, though, Greg. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. There we go. Look at that assortment. And if you put them in a nice tray, you can we'll get them closer. Separate. Keep them separated. Keep, Keep them, them separated. separated. Look at that. Look at those awesome things. There Three, you go. Three, seven, eight, nine, ten, elevens. Tears. Elevens to hit. Elevens to hit your tear. Wow. Nice. Nice. Little tiny tear. Looks like a whip. It smells like a... I got it. Oh. Have mm -hmm. those bad boys. You want to hit that camera again? I can hit the camera again. That's another thing uh, you can also get on Ares Games and Minis. These are little bead set for critical hits and stuff like that. So, so. depending if you like beads. Oh, tokens, look at you. You can have bolts. Look at you being all... Fisherman-like. Fisherman-like. I never leave home without them. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, sir. Oh, you shoot me on this. My. Oh, no! I didn't place him good enough. Shoot. I'm doing a bad job on my cigar tonight. I'm doing a bad job of placement. One, two, three, four, five, six, sevens. Seven to hit. Rot roll. That That's going to get hit. Good thing he's got some armor. There's a natty. Oh, suck. Natty in there, too. Oh, look at that. Valhalla natural. Three hits. Cool. On the Eldinger. Okay. Otherwise known as a hum -hum. Three damage. All right, here's yeah, one. one. <clears throat> Natural. That's an eight. That is uh, no cover. No crit. I got no crit. Or no crit. No crit. Woo! Here's your motive. You stop. <laughs> uh, seven. <coughs> eight. No. Eight for cover. Sorry. No effect. Plus one. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Eight. Plus oh, seven. you rolled a seven. Eight. I got you. Okay. No effect. I got you, coach. Okay, and I got one last guy to attack. Oh, wow. I don't know yet. Whatever you can see. 
sharing this bag. There we'll we. go with the Ryokin. Going with the Ryokin. All right. That looks like he's going to try Wraith to shoot the Wraith. We got Wraith going to Ryokin. Kitty, he set blue PS3 at medium. <clears throat> he does three. He jumped four, five, medium range, six, seven, eight, nine, tans. Tans to hit? Tans to hit. Not dead yet. I am. Uh, <laughs> I am. I am done. Jump down. It's good damage. Got me done. Float <clears throat> on over to Matt. Shall feel the wrath of the bloodbath. The Masty. It's just an armor wound, says Grig. Very true, very true. Distance range battle going on here. Let's Mastodon see. to right flank. Yep. We're going Mastodon to, I believe, one of the Oros. <clears throat> to the blue front. The blue front Oro. Four, eight, nine. Hey, what are you doing? Niners to hit. Whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Don't grab that. Don't grab that. <laughs> now we got one hit. What is it, Niners? Yep. One hit. Roll for motive. Damage on the arrow. Charger, same target. Going with the charger. Long, long range. Needs more TVC dice. What's TVC? Good placement. I got lucky then. Did the tanks uh, get into a good little cove right there? Kind of looks that way. Right at the top of your screen, marked with the blue poker chip. That's Tommy's Oros and Demolisher? Yep. Oh, he's got the whole armored tank line going on there. Contio to the Beetle. The short, uh, the, sh the short one? 
That would be one of your... <clears throat> Short Anorus. 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 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Oh, Got there's a one. ten. Two hits. Two hits on Anorus. I'm going to call it number one. Roll a uh, motive. That's on a nine. Plus two mm -hmm. is eleven. That is a uh, half, half. Definitely half and half. Yeah, that'll work. We'll knock him down to ten inch of movement and two TMM. Yep. At least it wasn't a fucking zero. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rhyme C to Loki. Oh wait, he has RFA, so it's down to one damage, but he still has the motive. What kind of weapons? I'm at E and E with that. Oh, so you take half damage? I take half, half the... If he shot at you with E and E? Yeah, E and E. I believe it. You can double check, please. So you're only at one damage. I believe that's how it works. Yeah, shoot this one. Four, five, six, seven, partial cover, eight. RCA, RFA. Energy weapons. Uh, if a unit with a special attack struck by an air ground strafing attack or weapon attack with special unit E and E or heat before applying this round. Three hits on Round body. damage down to a minimum of one point of damage. <clears throat> to Maloki. Three hits on your elbow. So, he's only down to one damage on his Anurus because he was shot at E and E. Okay. But we just took damage from... Who just shot? The Hell. How much damage? Three. Damage on the Hell. Three damage on the Hell. Made up for that. Loki again. One. Okay. One more damage on the Loki. Took a motive as a half a half. We're really uh, two for two on those motives right now. That is a sad opponent right now. Um, Viper opponent. Viper. We'll do a little Viper to the opponent action. I got it on a dot. Oop. 
Niners. Ooh. Close. Two misses, barely. Two misses barely. Some motive damage out there, a couple of little armor scratches. Nothing too bad so far. <clears throat> little Ryoke into a black lantern, it looks like. Asher. Asher. Black Lantern. Oh, the Ash. Okay. Four, five for Tree. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tens. Tens to hit. There's one. Okay. To the Black Lantern. And where's the Black Lantern? There he is, right there. Mix and scratches and mix and scratches. Dasher in the sky. <clears throat> Four, five, six, nine. One dasher. One natural. Two hits, three hits. Oh. Three hits, oh. Wow. Uh, three hits to what did we black shoot at? Lantern. To the black lantern. Okay. Okay. Is a headshot. Oh shit! Sorry, Tom. You're not sorry. That is a. I'm, a I'm about two percent sorry. Two percent <laughs> sorry. sorry. Headshot. Black <clears throat> lantern. Going down. Boy, it's been a long time since we've had a headshot. I'm not gonna lie. It's been since uh, Adepticon for me. It has been a while. On stream, anyway. Is that six inches? Nope. Headshot Black Lantern goes down. So much for the Nixon cuts, Lander, huh? Four. I think you destroyed more um, this turn than you did last week. <laughs> You're right. You're right. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good hit. It's gonna suck though. Four, five for tree, six, seven for range, eight for partial, twelve. Ooh, twelves right. from the uh, Anher to the Where, Loki? Uh, Oh, no, no. To the there's a building there. No, to the, mm -hmm. no, that's long range. <clears throat> to the race. Going to the race. Oh. Yeah, that's a nigga. Three times in a row? <clears throat> Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Go a little Donner to Epona action. Oh, sorry. It's okay. They got you. Four, five, six, nine. Niners, it looks like. Holy shit, he's hot. How many? Look. One hit. One hit. Uh, roll four. Is that the same opponent you shot before? Yeah. Okay. That's three twelves on the dice set. Six. Charlie Company dice seem a little uh little promoter. A little frisky. Whoa. Uh nine. 
nine, ten. Ten. <clears throat> That's the minus two. Minus, minus one. two. Minus one. Two one. Oof. Down to seven inches and one TMN. And the pump hole. Come off the liner. Come off. Way over here. We got him right there. For the Crimson Langur. Join the chat, hey bourbon. All right, crap time. One hour and 37 minutes left, and this round is brought to you by Aries. Yeah, a lot of heat. This round is brought to you by Aries Games and Miniatures. Go to Aries, Aries Games and Minis .com for all your battle techniques. Starting round two. That is the thing with Epic. Uh, the first round always does take the longest. <clears throat> uh, Tommy did some damage. Yeah. But no, Matt, yeah. Matt ultimately came away, I think, with the winner of... Round one with a headshot to the Black Lantern. Let's go ahead and see what Matt's got going on here for his list. We got an Eldinger that's a little damaged. Dasher took uh, one damage and has a heat. Ryokin took some damage and a heat. Donner took damage and a motive. But still on his feet. Moving over to Tommy's side. A lot of little dings, nicks, and paint scratches, except for the headless black lantern, but that's about it. His opponent did take two crucial motive hits, uh, as did his Onurus. Loki took some damage, but it's a Loki. He'll be just fine. Get rid of that dice cam. We don't need him anymore. <clears throat> uh, for anyone wondering, that mech in the trees that just moved is the Charger. Yeah, minus two inches. Charger C. 83 points of fun. Over here. Get rid of that dice can. <clears throat> Z drop. If he's got one heat, does he drop a TMM? No, just minus two inches. If he goes to two heat, then he loses a TMM. <laughs> With the Black Lantern down is the name of this new world, uh, is this world new Mogadishu? <laughs> Black Lantern down. <laughs> uh, I highly recommend you making Gen Con Don. It is a good time. Had by all.
That is the Rhyme Honor Otter, uh, being proxied by a black and white speckled vulture or Mad Dog, whichever one you guys prefer. That would be the Conteal, I believe. Correct, Matt? Yep. So the gray painted vulture is proxying a Conteo. That's the first set. Which should be coming out quarter four mm -hmm. of 2026. <laughs> Way too late in the game for me to play According to Catalyst Game Lab. So we'll see if that actually happens. But uh, Although I'll take one as an individual if they got one to spare. Hmm. One of them prototype test models, just prototype to see if they got the scale, scale correct and everything. Since we are a testing podcast. It's like the hurt opponent is not going to go down without a fight. Base, base. Base, base on both. What is that? Ooh. Salamander? Nice. Tommy. It looks like Tommy deployed <clears throat> oh some salamander battle armor Get in base-to-base -to -base contact with the... With both of them? With both the Charger and the Contio. Well-placed move, Tommy. Well-placed nice. move. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. To give you guys an update, I can't quite see it, but that uh, that battle armor is right in front of that beautiful planted turquoise green opponent. Oh, there you go. There they are. <laughs> How much to go up in elevation? Two inches. Two inches. A nervous movement going on here. Hey, Tommy. Where's yeah. that salamander right when it's on the side of the table? The other the opponent. Other opponent. Okay. Cool. Looks like. <clears throat> they're, they're heat buddies. Those they're some, heat buddies. <laughs> those are some damn scary opponents with yeah. fire, fire, fire cats. Yeah, Epona is carrying uh, a salamander with heat. That's uh, they're, they're heat buddies. They're heat buddies. <clears throat> Might have to clamp these with the table, coach. Yeah. I almost ruined it. You did almost take down the god the god cam. <laughs> I got a sliver earlier, but I pulled it out. <laughs> I thought about screwing them on, but. <clears throat> They're supposed to be portable. <clears throat> I should be able to just lift that off and then put them in the corner and be done with it. Throw a little clamp on. Oh yeah, They're right behind you. Yeah. Work. What? What are we going to do? Did you drop? <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh -huh. just, the <laughs> handle just popped finally. I gotcha. I just don't want it. For those of you who are wondering, I did some carpentry work today to get this setup. giant setup uh, working. Alright. And uh, Matt tried to grab one of the poles and just to ruin the whole thing. <laughs> I was bracing myself to move a piece. <clears throat> 
All right, we got an opponent hiding behind a rock. Looks like the Anurus. We're gonna go check out the next building in line. Currently sitting at zero objectives to zero objectives. What am I going to do? One hour, 27 minutes left in the round. Bunkers and extraction. <laughs> Hundred percent agree with you, Jonathan. It is a roller coaster of emotions. At least you can get the mastodon in metal, though. Can you get the Conti on in metal? No. You stop. Well, <laughs> what? What he's saying is like it's a real roller coaster <clears throat> of emotions. Stage one, yes, plastic mastodon and Contio. Stage two, fucking twenty twenty six. Right. <laughs> oh, Greg. Greg would like to say. Uh, and when you mean heat buddies, you also mean LVO champions, right? <clears throat> Greg was rocking the Epona E and Salamanders as well, I believe. Oh. And uh, if you guys didn't know in chat, Gregory Wright is our 2024 inches, LVO champion. <clears throat> he was El Fuego. <laughs> That's why this is a blue red deck. Oh, I got it. Got it. It's a blue color deck. I'm picking up what you're laying down. With red color vibes. He painted it blue, but it's all about the heat. It's all about the heat. Blue red deck. It's a control burn. Control burn? Those are my favorite kind. I love control burn. But this is a Battletech stream, not a Magic the Gathering stream. But for those of you who play Magic the Gathering, would know what we're talking about. Well, that would be a good topic for a podcast. What kind of Battletech list do you make and relate it to Magic the Gathering decks? <clears throat> that is definitely green. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Bears are green. Bear, bear, bears are bring the big stuff <laughs> and just wait out your opponent. <laughs> I'd have to say mine would be the uh, white angels. Oh, you remember my uh, don't sunblast me bro deck? <laughs> or the dragon or a dragon deck? That would be mine. Yeah, this would be a dragon deck. I dragon think. deck. Man, when was the last time you played Magic the Gathering? <clears throat> Fuck. Long time. When I sold my cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of, I gotta bring my cards to Gen Con this year. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I wonder if all the Dismounted mid 2010s jump. would be worth anything. Dismounted me, you can jump. No. Me. They can't jump. If they're riding externally, they can't. Oh no, yeah, they can't jump. They can move though. They can move half movement, <clears throat> but they can't jump. They cannot jump. So zero to move. They half move. They still get their movement. They get the the movement. They get the TMM. They get their full movement. They just get half. You just don't get the jumping plus one. Zero. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you were expecting of golems and <laughs> no. no. <laughs> they, so fire. they don't move very fast. Man, I do miss that deck. <laughs> Don't sunblast me, bro. 
I missed my golem deck. The only thing it did was tap your creatures, and then the Sunblast Angel comes out and destroys all tapped creatures. <laughs> I missed my golem deck. That's the deck I missed. Oh, you know, remember that? Your Langer move 16? Yeah, my Langer move 16. Okay. <clears throat> Oop, sorry. Close the scene. Here we go. All right. What are you doing, that? <laughs> like, that's loud. <laughs> Who does your dasher move with? It moves 30. No, move combat with? group. This? The, this? This combat group. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the that's the painting ass of it, isn't it? Trying to keep track of all your combat <clears throat> groups, yeah. All your opponents' ones. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Put like little color coordinating stickers on your on your cards just to make sure that you know, because that's what I do. I I always forget. Like, oh, that's right. Uh, he's a part of this group now. This is the Dasher on the move. It looks like the Dasher is on the move. Oh. No. Not yet, anyway. I mean, that's what a dasher does, is move a long ways. Moves. Across the map. Moves. Around the map. He's the 30-inch mover, isn't he? Yep. The perimeter around the map. <clears throat> Go ahead and take a look at what this dasher does. Beep, beep. Of course, he's got heat, so it's minus two inches. Oh, that's right. He does have a heat on him. Yeah, 30 inch, knocks him down to 28. Well, that's kind of right in the middle of the deal, so. Hmm, you gonna peek around the corner? Peek, peek it looks that way. Okay, come back here, then. <clears throat> you know you're rolling epic when you need to get two two stacks of TM one dice out. <laughs> Looks like we're going and moving up to try to scope some buildings. Partial cover, Ooh. or you got partial cover? I still see that. From who? I see your dasher. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Ooh, does this? Does Jeff's battle tech tools give me? No, it doesn't. Oh. Oh, quick shout out. Uh, if you guys are wondering what this wonderful program we're using to stream with, it's Jeff's Battletech Tools. Go to Jeff's Battletech Tools, Google that. Uh, it allows you to uh, print, make cards, uh, but the greatest thing about the whole thing is we're able to uh, fill in the pips on the uh, web browser so that's what makes this possible for us to show you seamlessly the damage and motive hits and criticals that happen in real time so big shout out to Jeff's Battletech Tools for a wonderful website um, yeah we're, we're thoroughly enjoying it and uh, as is all of our uh, audience uh, that was one of the big things that uh, that was one of the big things that everybody wanted is to be able to see the damage and uh, Jeff's Battletech Tools allows us to do that. Looks like we've got a little uh, pile up behind the building there, Tommy. You ready to spring your trap? <clears throat> well, I'm trapped all right. <laughs> <laughs> My dash is definitely trapped. Yeah, we're definitely getting a battle along the lines here uh, as Matt tries to make his way over to the 
to Tommy's side of the board for his objectives. Tommy's still looking to find that mysterious building labeled with UV paint. As Tommy's. Yes, sir. Well, this would be a good time to go over everybody's main objectives and secondary objectives. I was like, I can't find my fifth mech, but I look at him dead over there missing a cockpit. <laughs> details. It's all in the details. Man. Tommy's objectives are search and destroy. He needs to search the four buildings in the center to find the hidden building marked by UV paint using a mech's Specially customized UV light and uh, so some of you may not know this, but apparently all mechs have a searchlight. All mechs have a searchlight. But yet all vehicles don't unless they have the SRCH special ability. Correct so if you get search and destroy, make sure you have some mechs and or vehicles with the search ability. He also has demoralize. He needs to destroy 50% of Matt's force for one objective. Uh, if he finds the building, he gets one objective. If he destroys the building, he gets another objective. Matt. Matt's got infiltrate and extraction. So he is looking to move to the other side of the board. He needs to infiltrate the two bunkers near Tommy's uh, home edge. Uh, following the Alpha Strike 350 rules, he can shoot the bunker door or he can infiltrate uh, battle armor inside and throw some charges in there and blow them up. He gets one objective per bunker. And his secondary objective is extraction. He's looking to be <coughs> in face to face contact with that large, beautiful mega block uh, Hextech building. Again, on Tommy's side of the board. And he needs to have a unit with an IT of one. In the end phase, if he survives, he picks up his VIP or, not VIP, his designated target asset. And then he needs to get to uh, the other side of his home, home edge in order to claim one objective point. And those is your mid round recap. There is an hour and 15 minutes left in the round. We are on round two. You just joining us, Tommy lost a black lantern to a unfortunate headshot. My turn. I believe there's some yes, Charlie sir. Company dice that were rolling <clears> awfully, <throat> awfully hot. Almost as though he... It was the greens. Almost, whoop, let me get a shot of those. Almost, throw, throw the logo on them. Uh, these are, these are normal. Oh, they're not they're hot normal. dog cider <clears throat> infested Charlie Company dice. That's why they're rolling so well. Oh, I was getting suspicious. <coughs> Tommy looks like he's breaking up his tank. They're normal Chessex. Normal Chessex, there you go. Well, you're rolling them with your orange Charlie Company dice, so I figured. The Aries and the Charlie Cider are doing just fine. Yeah. Well, let's get this chat involved. Let's go with one for Tommy. If you think he's going to win this round. Or no, let's not go the round. Let's go one for Tommy. <coughs> and turn two if you believe he's going to win. Two for Matt. If you think he's going to win. I'm going to lose some VTOLs and light max. You think, you think the VTOLs are going to go down, huh? You did take a lot of little damage, but it, it was spread around and you got some heat on you. Tommy took more of like scratches, but again, an unfortunate headshot. K 
capped with. The <laughs> Black Lantern, who didn't even get to shoot. That's my fault. <clears throat> God damn it, Bourbon. <laughs> you son of a buck. Good move. Where's your TMO for that? Time to block the bunker. Ooh. We got a, How fast is we got a big ass tank in the bunker over there. Job, See if we can get a shot of that. Yeah, right there in the bunker. <clears throat> is that a Oro? Yep. The Hag version. The Hag version. That's not the damage one, is it? The one with one damage on it? I think you have one with one damage. Uh, oop, that's the wrong list. Yeah, you got Ooh. one Oro. Yeah, that's the one with one damage on it. With one damage on it. All right. You got an opponent you could shoot at. <laughs> True. What's the, four, what's the opponent got left? The opponent has one armor, three structure. Ooh, are we attacking? I feel like we're attacking. We're attacking. Attack Yay! Dice cam, activate. Ooh, I wonder if I should do this. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. no. For those of you who are wondering, that symbol in the bottom left hand corner means we're playing Dark Ages. Because Dark Ages, Early Republic, Late Republic, all have the same logo. Catalyst, probably should get on that. Ooh, let's see. I think we can move the Catalyst. dice cam. Let's uh, studio mode this. Dice cam can go over Four. here, maybe? No. Five. Let's leave it right there. Five is to hit. Any misses? No. Uh, four hits. It's dead. Thank you. And this was going to the opponent, I believe? Yep. Kind of taking the opponent. Oop. Let's, let's make sure our <clears throat> friends at home can follow along. All five. Looks like we're going to go to a Viper fight. It's in the rear, too. Good. Extra damage. Because then I'm an idiot. Oh, god dang it. Uh-oh. Is it a missed, missed opportunity? I forgot to search buildings. Oh. You already moved. <laughs> well, what's Which, the rule? Well, yeah, it's at the end phase. Well, we're going to be nice. How about that? <laughs> Which building are you going to search? I got two two units that could search. Four, five, six. Well. Nine, ten. I'm going to search the one the, the DI is near. For those wondering, that is a missed opportunity. One hit on your VTOL, it's a Natty. Aries. Aries, James. Roll for Natty. Uh... I, I searched the one that the DI is near. This is on the DI multiperse? Got a four. It's a fire control. Fire control in the vehicle. Who are you shooting at? The DI. Oh, oh you're, yeah. you're only one. <laughs> yeah, motive. Ooh, Natty. A, a 12? Yep. Yeah, you mobile. A mobile. Uh, it so drops you, down, it loses it. You will crash to the ground, you will take a damage. At least it doesn't. And die. you roll another motive. Well, it doesn't matter because he's immobile, so. Yeah. Rot roll. Well, this guy. Is, <laughs> this is the building uh, <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and make him immobile. He chose correctly. <laughs> <clears throat> he chose wisely, Tommy. I chose wisely. Ooh, did we find the building? Yep. Found the building. Let's see if we can. Okay, so it looks like it's the one. one turn? Okay. <laughs> it's the one next to the dash and the VTOL, marked by the blue chip. Because that's what your main. What? That's your main. That is his main objective. Yes. This is one building at how much damage? Twenty. Twenty damage to the building. That'll take a turn. <laughs> 
All my units are pointing away from it now. Epic. Uh, you can shoot at it with a bunch. <laughs> this is correct. Uh, let's see. Blue. How much will do with this turn? Score. I got to figure a out a better way to do this. There's no such thing as can't see it. You can see. Can I see this world? That Epona? Yes, you can. Okay. I believe that is long range, though. Better check. All right. So. Oh, he's gonna have. <laughs> Update our score. Tommy has one objective because he successfully scanned the correct building. Um, how the fuck did you get motive? Let's check. His motive rolls are hot. These dice are This will be like the second turn the charger can't shoot at something. Is there something It's an awful lot of points for a mech can't shoot. He could kick though. <laughs> he could kick the uh... He's, he's a charger! He could kick the uh, BA. Have you seen any of those? Boot them sons of bitches! <clears throat> Boot the BA. And, uh, 1d6? 2d6? 2d6. Uh, what, 4 plus 1, 5. 6 for your movement, 7 for VA. That's it. Hit. Take 4. Instead. Because it's what? Size? Size. 4. Yep. Four. Salamanders. Chop. Down. He didn't charge it, but he kicked it. Uh, tier to the non-blocking one. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. So we're going to the tier to the one hit. Both motors. Tier to where? Uh, the other Oro. Tier to the other Oro. The undamaged Oro takes a damage. What was the seven? I don't think that'll do anything. Come to counter. Uh, can you move and see? Your dasher can see my Oro. Can see it. Can you just don't move in that way. One, two, three, nose, Oro. Same one. Four, five, six, seven. That's a natty. Seven's to hit three the hits, three hits goal. <clears throat> to where? The same Oro. Oh, same Oro takes another three damage. Okay, roll for your natty. Nine. Niners. Six, seven, eight is nothing. That's going to be like a weapon. Weapon hit. Weapon, weapon hit. <coughs> bah. <coughs> well, well of... it kind of hurts on the three, two, oh, two. That's a seven. It's a four three three. Oh, I have the damage on the wrong one then. We can fix that though. You must have the wrong oro on there. No. You got a three two Oh. Never mind. It's because he took a weapon damage, that's why. Uh Dasher probably won't survive. Well, over here. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> just, just hitting buttons wrong. <laughs> four plus the heat. Plus two for each heat or plus one? Uh, plus one for heat. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, Looks like we're going Dang. to... God damn Jeez! I'm going to have to dip them babies in some salt water. Uh, what was it? Nines? Nines. One hit, two hit, three hits. This was going to the Oro? Yep. All right, so you have a natty in there? Yep. Roll two crits. How much damage do you take? Three? Yep. Oh. Six and a five. The five, uh, five is, is a, a fire control. 
No crit and fire control. <clears throat> fire control on that Oro. Roll huh? for motive. Pip and a prayer, baby. Pip and a prayer. Four. No. <clears throat> Oro's hanging on. He overheated? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. <coughs> Dasher <laughs> overheating. Die. Yeah, that's true. Well, he doesn't take it this turn. <clears throat> so. I'll shoot at the same oral. I have. Looks like we're going with a no, Donner. No, he can't, because he's got no line of sight at level one. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Shoot a long range to your storm throw. Don or missed? I don't even know what he shot at. <laughs> the storm crow, is it? Oh, storm crow. Sorry. Uh, Ryan Motter at low key. Matthew Evans joining, Eric Halsinger joining. Hey guys, welcome to the game. I'll give a round two, end of round two recap here in a second. Short range? I yeah. thought it was. <clears throat> Looks like a little Ryan Otter <clears throat> on Loki action here. Six is the hit. Seven. Seven is the hit. Let's put that guy up. Oh, no. Let's get it right there. Seven. Seven's to hit. Who are those guys? No dice? natties. No natties. Thank oh, God. bummer. All five hit. All five. Loki. On the Roll Loki. Roll for crit. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Eight. 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 It's like your theme song right now, Tommy. I know. <laughs> What's left on the low key? One structure. One structure left on the low key. I thought he did. Yep. <clears throat> All three from the Asher. Asher. Going three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like we got Asher right there to the Loki. Natty. God dang. Three, three hits. Or excuse me, two, uh, two hits. Two hits. Dead. That should be enough. What was the name? Oh, uh, waste of Natty rolls. Look at you. Sorry. <laughs> Storm Crow to is the last. What's damaged here? Uh, Wraith or Langer? Neither. Okay. We'll shoot at the uh, Langer. He's got a heat. Four. Five, We're gonna go six, Storm seven, Crow ten, to the Crimson ten. Langer. Ten. Tens it. You fire at the Ryo. One hit, two hits. At the Crimson Langer, two hits. Two hits. I was going to say, if you fire at the Ryo, can you might have a rear shot. Mm. Yeah. True. Yeah. You would have had a rear shot. <clears throat> going. Yep. Two damage on the Crimson Langer. Critique all my faults, yep. <laughs> it seems like every shot. Oops, sorry, sorry. folks. 
I was just what? Give no, me it's good. It's good. What? This learning. This learning curve. What is going on here? What did I just shoot? The crimson liner. That. Why? From the Ryokin. Shot. Why is the list not showing up? Shot that. I don't think the mass is on here. Shot. shot that. Oh, well, that's because that's supposed to be it. Technical error. 57 minutes left in the round. 57 minutes. From, uh, left in the mm -hmm. So one long range asterisk to Eldenar to demolition. Okay. Eldinger, long range, zero star. Going for the prayer. Can't shoot anything else. Oop. My bad, wrong, wrong team. There Four, we go. Eight, nine. <clears throat> Niners to hit. It's a hit. And one dice. Eight. One dice. Four, five, or six. You missed. Three. Good. There's a hot button topic in the Alpha Strike community that do you roll your one dice first before you roll your two hit? Just it to would, see if it, it would even, save you time. It would save you time. <clears throat> I would agree with that. Little and little tip from the Wolfnet community. To that's the tall beetle. Oh, that's the four. Little and her to Honorus. Oh no, that's the DIY. Short. Nope, that's the Honorus. Oh, Honorus. Calling that short, Tommy. Yep. Okay. So air to four, air action. Eight nine. I like it. Is it? Wow, it's still a one against. Still got a plus one airborne. No niner. Nope. Whiff. We'll shoot that demolisher at long. <clears throat> Ooh, a little demolisher. Four, long eight, range. Nine. Long range. Niners to hit. Ooh, look at all those three ones at the top. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Time to go ahead and kill some stuff. Good shooting, that. Matt. That's a very good shooting. Good shooting. Now well, let's see what old Clan C Fox can do. The Natty's helped a lot. Yes. I bet, I bet you kill 50% in this turn. Plan C. Go. I bet he kills 50% in this turn. You think so? I think he'll get both. I think he'll get all. Well, I get, maybe he'll get primary and secondary. In he's got to destroy 300 points of units. He can do it. He's uh, do it, Tony. How expensive is your dasher? Dash is 42 points. Yeah. He's got to do a lot of damage. Where do we want to start? Ooh, where are we going to start? All right. Uh, uh, we'll start with the Onurus. Onurus. That's on my side. Um, over here. Oh, that's not on my side. We're gonna go over here. Yep. Um. Diner? Against the diner. <clears throat> so once again, during Epic, it's hard to see units behind buildings. You gotta pay attention to where your units are on Epic. Because there's a lot to, of stuff. You almost, you almost have to walk around to at least you, two sides. <laughs> you gotta pay attention. <laughs> Four, five, six, sevens. Ooh, rear shot too. The uh, my blue dice will be the flak. Oh, and he's got flak. Yeah. All right, blue dice have been designated as flak. For those of you who don't know, flak is a negative two it's to the two good. hit roll for any airborne what? targets. What? What are building up? Uh, I'll try. All right, so I got three at short range plus an additional one for being in the rear. 
Mm-hmm. And the blue is uh, flat. So four, five, six, seven. The seven's the hit. The downer will go down. Four damage to your downer. Uh, I think that'll do it. Kaboom! Good job, Tony. Uh, Epona to the Contio. Epona. Epona to the Contio. Uh, four, five, six, sevens. Uh, yeah, there you go. Remember, we're color coordinating <clears throat> now, so Tommy's firing because he's blue. No stealth at short range. Okay. Short uh, range. Contio. So no stealth two, on a map. Two damage. Uh, two. Uh, two damage. Two heat. Four. Ooh. Six, seven, six. Ooh. Epona. Two damage. Two heat. Coming his way. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Was it the green dice? That is a Valhalla. You gotta do it in the dice cam. <laughs> Sorry. Jeff. A two to three. <laughs> oh no! Hey. Yeah. Valhalla, why? <laughs> Valhalla, we're gonna need some new dice. I uh, hold on. Would you need a hit? That one die. Almost beats all four of these things. <laughs> um, a seven. Oh um, no! You added all those up in a single one. Oh no! That um, hurt. Put colorblind. Col oh. pl put colorblind man on stream for maximum chaos. <laughs> oh, that's that is. A a dice cam needs to be. One of the Patreon reward leather trays. Oh, well, that would be a really close-up dice tray. Maybe you just get. A I mean, I could do that. Just get a piece of skin for it. Oh yeah, Tommy could do that. Just a. Just All right, blank. I'm going wolf net piece of skin. I'm going for the fence. I am going to do an anti mech attack against your charger. Oh boy. With myself. Ooh, are we looking for a through armor crit headshot charger down untouched? All right. Yeah. When it has a dealt Salamander anti mech attack to the charger. Three, four, five, six. Useless charger besides kicking. He is swinging for the fence. Sevens. Sevens to hit. Sevens hit. Okay, do you did you did have the plus one for the anti mech attack, right? Yep. Okay. Sevens. I, you got an eight anyway. Yeah. So you do two damage. Two damage. Two, two heat. To the charger. Sorry, right, let me get there. Let me get there for you, folks. And an automatic crit. Wait, the BH and CR matter. CR Bloodhound matters. does not matter, and crit resistance will matter. Yep. We'll see. CR minus is uh, two to your. Uh, it's minus two to the to roll the roll. to the roll to the da uh, critical hit damage roll. So you won't get a head hit. You won't get a head hit. You could get an ammo hit. Seven. The roll was a seven, Minus six, five. Seven. <laughs> seven in the dirt. <laughs> Thank you, CR. Thank you, crit resistance. Thank you, crit resistance. Uh, I learned something. <clears throat> no, that's well, that's a bummer. <laughs> All right, um, DI is going to do He's going to try to do a attack against the building. DI multi-purpose He's going to do it zero one attack against the building. So it's going to do it six. So let's that see if the the VTOL that is. Zero star. Nope. 
Oh. Right. It does not do damage to the building. It does not do damage to the building. The Oro is going to attack the building. The one that's in the crater or in the bunker. All right, Oro. Where's your chip? There you go. Going to the building. There you go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, so four, five, six. And I don't believe Oh, you do get the minus four on those buildings, right? It's the towers that don't get the <laughs> minus four. Hold on, <laughs> let's, let's double check. <laughs> Searchability, four buildings, housing, you miss it. Correct, you do get the minus four on those buildings. So why not just get 20 damage and throw it? Or, yeah, just declare it. <laughs> That's, you see the look on his face like, uh, I don't know about that one, coach. Well, the towers were meant to have communication blockage. These are just supply depots, so. I can't really justify True and an abandoned building that has some depot in it. And I had to find out which ones it was. You have to find out which one. I mean, it could have okay. taken you all four turns just okay. to find out which one. Ammo depots have a lot of armor. So there's a lot of Alright, so... We'll, we'll work on that. Uh, they do damage when they explode. <laughs> three, three damage. They, they, Not a bad idea. They... Hold the explosion a little bit. They did, they'll, 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 three damage. We'll work on that one. It's an we'll work on it. Three. I don't know if we should have two different counts. Hey, somebody said play test for the win, and that's we what are. we're doing here. We so, because otherwise it's just like, eh, just declare twenty damage. And I don't know if he can do twenty damage to the building. Though. Sure he can. Uh, this Oro is going to fire at. Well, let me first uh, do a, a different, uh, the Epona. <laughs> It'd be sweet if I could like shield the building with my units. <laughs> the Epona is going to fire at the uh, infantry. Four, five, six. No, my, my gnomes. Oh, we Seven. got a gnomes. Epona over to the gnomes. Does that one have stealth? No. <laughs> seven, just the rogues do. Four, five, six, seven for being BA. Oh, yes. Tommy. I, oh, oh, oh Tommy. Then die suck. For now. Weather or no. Ah, what am I doing? Did you add another mic? Nice. Yeah, I got the... Oh boy. And it's... I got it on so to record 360. They said it sounds better. And it didn't crash my system, so... Yay! 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 <laughs> Yay! Microphones on Yay screen. for uh, technology not burning up everything. Good job, coach. <laughs> Oh, that looks like going to the dasher. Dasher's toast. All the light stuff's gonna die. Four, five, six, tens. Tens? No stealth. No stealth. He, he needs one. <laughs> oh, stealth on a dasher? <laughs> Four, five, six, tens. <laughs> That's the hit. That's the hit. Got one. one. Got oh, one. That's it, it's dead. That's all he needed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he needed. Okay. There, now we're getting a little more wrecked on on Matt's side wrecked. of the board. <laughs> wrecked on in there, kill him. <laughs> um <laughs> Yay, stuff's dying. Yeah, I was going to go for that. Uh, I do have a question for chat. Do you guys like it when I go to the big screen with the dice cam for the dice roll and then go back to the the cards, or would you rather keep me on on the attack scene that I have going on here? Uh, Just like a little five damage to the building. 
So for right now, I'm going to go damage to the building. here. Yay! Damage the building. And he's automatically doing damage to the building. So the building is at 12, 12 damage left. Left. Okay, so 12 HP left on the building. You easily do that. Ray so, Oaken's going to fire at the building. I can do this, or I can just leave it on this. Up to you, whichever is visually pleasing, or do you like the back and forth? I can do both. That's not a big deal. I took Matt's comment last week and said, don't go crazy on cameras, so... <laughs> Ryokin's doing five damage on the building, so it's on the seven. Directly so we from have a Ryokin. Oh, sorry. And see, now look, I screw it up. Ryokin's going to the building. So it's down to seven. You're, you'll get it. You're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Oh. You're done. Pro you're tip done. for players, turn your cards when you do movement or firing to keep track of what's Oh, do a little, do a little tap, 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 little tap, 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 tap tapping of the cards. Tap, 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 We'll see what uh, that's working with you, Laddie. Let's see, we have uh, 42 and 23, so currently there is 60, 65 points of damage on his way to 300. Uh, 58? Uh, Dasher is 42 points because he scaled him up to 3. Did you remember oh, we that? Did. <laughs> we did, yeah. We didn't uh, do that. Loki is going to overheat <laughs> since he's dead. I don't think you've missed with your dasher yet, though. <laughs> so. Loki's going to overheat, but too. I, I forgot about that. So, just all hit. Right? Three, Loki four, five, is overheating. six, seven, eight. To the building? No. Ooh, not to the building. He doesn't what? Interesting. What? Interesting. Oh, looks like the Rhyme Otter has a poker chip next to it. Actually, no, you're right. To the building. I like how I asked the chat a question and Ben just responded yes. <laughs> no, 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 you're right. Eight, eight to the building. Eight yes, more yeah. damage to the building, and the building is gone. Oh, that was easy. I don't know if it was exactly easy. <clears throat> the hardest part was scanning. Hardest part is trying to scan the build. Correct. All right. Now I got two more mechs left. Yeah, like six or seven. two more mechs and a, uh, uh, a Norris. Uh, blue, blue squad. Uh, so shoot this guy. Shoot. No, I'm not. Just <laughs> two. I'm leaving him for last. Uh, no, leave him for last. Last. I kill you last. Last. Uh, last so last. four, five, six, seven. He's a VTOL eight. But I have, I also have, uh, my blue dice, or my, uh, flat dice. And, yeah. Eights. We got eight. You only got a new four. Eights going where? Eights to the, uh, and her. And her. The and her. This will go down, too. And her. We got eights. It's to hit, it's to hit. One damage to the Anher. One damage to the Anher. Here's the mobile for motive. 12. Where's that 12. darn Anher at? There it is. It's yeah. 11. Yeah, that's 12. It's 12. Immobile. So, <coughs> immobile Anher. That sucks. Crashes, takes one damage. Does the BA damage? It will be immobile. It is not dead, so. The BA oh. are inside. So the BA well, how high inside. was it? One. Oh, one. So it only took one damage. It only takes it one took an additional Oh, it damage. only takes one damage, you're right. So, one damage for the hit, and then one damage for the crash. Correct? Correct. Okay, so, so you got two structural Two structural Uh, yep. That's good. <laughs> Alright, and see. then the Wraith. Is going to attack the uh, the Rayokin. So, 
So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ryokin to the Wraith to the Ryokin. Yeah, like zero. There we go. Nope. Other way around. You're blue. He's red. There we go. Three. Thank four, you. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight stay. Gonna have some running VA here soon. Who there's one? One. One. Right. <laughs> Good on. There's one. One armor left. To the Ryokin. Still only has one heat, right? No, he's got two heat because he fired last turn as well. Uh, you don't gain. Did he overheat? He doesn't gain heat. You don't he's... gain heat because you fired. You just keep the heat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Crimson Langer is going to fire at the Ryokin. Oh. One, two, three, sixes. Crimson Langer. Sixes. To the Ryokin. Skill one. Six is the hit. There's one miss. <laughs> Valhalla be doing you dirty this tonight. <laughs> Valhalla be doing him dirty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and with the natty. He's dead. He is gone. Wrecked. See lots of lots of death and destruction right now. I'm done. It's turn two. Everybody yeah. done? You know what that means? Round three is brought to you by Hextech. <laughs> All right, score is two to zero. Just like that. Turn 36 two. minutes left in the round. Seven. Tommy rolls a seven for initiative. Matt. Four. A four. Tommy wins. Initiative again. Initiative again. Has he won it all? Three no, rounds? This is two times in a row you've gotten Oh, That's so great. you won first round. Two out of three. He's won the last one. <clears throat> all right, well. Let's do another. Recap of what we're looking at here. We'll go with uh, the Tommy for two scores right now. He has completed his search and destroy. He found the building holding the supplies of the enemy and did 20 damage to the building. Took him one turn unsuccessfully scanning the first building. Second turn he successfully scanned it and fired everything. That he could bear against the building. Detecting earned him one objective point. Destroying earned him one objective point. He has now left his secondary objective, which is demoralize. He must destroy 50% of Matt's forces. Which is well on his way. Right now, he is currently <laughs> sitting at. Uh, let's see, 4265. Hundred and twenty six PV destroyed. Tommy has a hundred and twenty six PV destroyed. Matt, on the other hand, has infiltrate. He has to get to the bunkers on the other side, infiltrate them, or destroy them. One point per bunker destroyed. He also has extraction for his secondary. He needs to get to that big old beautiful mega block. Hextech building brought to you by Hextech. Go ahead and get that awesome building. It's part of the new wave three of Hextech. You can go get them now from multiple retailers, but we suggest you go ahead and get it from Ares Games and Miniatures. He needs to get into face-to-face -face contact, land a VTOL or anything on top of it. In the end, in the end phase, he will pick up. The asset he is there to extract, he needs an IT-1 on one of the vehicles in order to carry the personnel. 
and then get back to his home edge in order to achieve one objective point. And you are caught up. And this cigar is about done. As is my refreshing beverage. Which is going to be refilled. This refill is brought to you by Valhalla Podcast. Go check out the number two podcast in Battletech. <laughs> <laughs> One, come back here. Thirty minutes left in the round. <laughs> Small ones for 20, that's fine. That's consistent with 350. Okay. But bigger buildings. A little more. I mean, that's, that's what we're doing this for. I got no problem. Oop, sorry folks. Get rid of that pesky dice can. We don't need that in there. And while we're doing a flight beverage refill timeout, I don't know if we're going to get to the next round, so we're going to go ahead and also shout out another sponsor of the show, StarCore! StarCore Industries. They make awesome um, banners, 3D printed banners, stuff like that for display boards. Great light up, um, uh, light up trophies and just kind of decals and stuff like that. They're they're awesome. So go check them out on over on Etsy. So to do a recap here um, and to kind of. If you didn't hear uh, what Matt was saying, 
thinking about maybe, I don't know, I think there's a couple of things, especially for infiltrate. Uh, the building, either the larger buildings need to go up or the bunkers need to go down. If we keep it similar to 350, you may go up. But I'm wondering if the bunker placement also needs to be different. I mean, you do have to go across the board and do all this other stuff. Um, I, I'm not out of the realm of thinking that the bigger buildings should maybe be a 30. Where you need to bring, I mean, if, if you're doing 30 points of damage to a building, like everyone's shooting at the building. Yeah. Because... Were they 20 last? Time uh, these buildings were 20, I believe. The only buildings that were 15 were the Blackout Towers. No, these were 15 as well. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe they need to go to a 30. You know, it's, it's one of those shell game modes, search and destroy, because... Tommy could have searched that building and it was like, nope, that's not it either. Of course, you had units next to the other building too. So if you, if you run or... Because you can't use Bloodhound or Probe for these, can you, Tommy? No. The, these have to be searched. These are two searched. inches. Yeah, yeah these you are, have to search. These are the so, two inch search. So you gotta be nitty gritty. You gotta be close to them. Uh, in order to do that. Yep. So, yeah, there's a trade-off, right? Like, what if you just get lucky and you get the building on the first chance? But if you don't get lucky and you find it on the fourth turn or the third turn, yeah, I suppose you, there should be a little bit of pressure where you have to fire everything at that building to get it going. As for bunkers, I mean, I, I like the scenario, but yeah, if you, like Matt, you drew the, the the two scenarios on the other side of the board. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see what he's looking at here. Looks like he's got. Well, chat, fires and missiles, Greg says. Fires and missiles, yes. Beverages of refreshing nature are indeed critical to enjoyment. Oh. <laughs> Looks like, uh, I don't know, I'm sure I've missed it, guys, but it looks like the Rhyme Otter is. Okay, next cab uh, Definitely looking at over on the left hand side of your screen there. I believe that's the Asher and the Rhyme Otter? Yes. Okay. While well, Tommy is trying to tankify, I guess you could say, that uh, left flank over there. He can't move, he's immobile. Oh, that is um, a sad oral. That's it, that's all I can move on that combat group. Isn't the tank oh, wait, in, no, the I bunker? can't. Is the tank in the bunker immobile? Wait, there's a blue oral immobile? That'd be funny. Immobile right in the bunker, like, you are now a turret bunker door. I am now the ultimate bunker blocker. It's like a salamander behind your charger. <clears throat> <laughs> that charger's just getting really anti-mech to, to <laughs> death here. 
Oh, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do anti-mech. There's a little bit of space in between there, so... He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Fine? Here's... Well, at least the charger's a sponge. <laughs> That's all he is. That's all he is. He's 83 points. He's going to get shooting his first <laughs> round now. Ooh. Son of a gun. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, he punted the shit out of a salamander earlier. <laughs> if that's not cinematically that's, awesome, I don't know what. I'm going to devote that charger just to punting BJ. Those, those salamanders walked up to a line of trees and a charger emerged and just booted the entire Ooh. squad. <laughs> Oop, sorry folks, that's my bad. You know, I could probably. Uh, get a little better camera angle here. <clears throat> May my gallons utilize. If I not infantry, not infantry. Paying oh, attention. You're gonna be correct, Tommy. Um. Look at me, Johnny, on the spot, huh? That's huh, that chap? Look at that. How about that camera angle? There's a joke. That's fine. Oop. I'm missing the mask. <clears throat> Can't miss the mask. <laughs> Don't move <want> mobile. <laughs> there you go. The V tolls him mobile. Nice. So I'm gonna... Don't mind me, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of there. Drop the troops. <laughs> get the fuck out of my helicopter. <laughs> Can't you tell we're on the ground? <laughs> this is clearly not our drop zone. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> better be thankful for the pilot. He yeah. landed us pretty yeah. goddamn good. Yeah. You better think thankful I landed this thing not upside down. <laughs> Six inches. And of course, they only have short range. That's, that's funny as hell. thing tonight is he is really utilizing the buildings for cover. Uh, he's, he's definitely really keeping uh, the shots. That's he's definitely thing. using the uh, the cover. Especially better than I. Like the whole force is coming out. Oh, can you make it there? Sure can. Oh. That does look like it'll be a rear shot. <laughs> Don't spook it. <clears throat> I should really do a Fire. better job on this yep. game. Make sure you get some rear shots on my Crimson Linger and Wraith from your Mastodon. Is it attack phase? Sure. Attack phase! See how they thought that would work on my side. Ooh. <clears throat> That's bringing out the ball holidays. Just leave those green ones alone. Who's got more damage? Crimson Linger has two damage to it. Right. The Wraith is this. I can put this right over here. It's also your rear shot. Crimson Linger also has 96 PV. Ooh. Oh, shoot. I don't know. 20 range. minutes left in the round. Right, I mean. 
for you. It was medium. Four, five, six, nine. Yuck. One hit. Ooh. One hit. Two hits. Ooh. Valhalla and uh, Charlie came through. Valhalla on. came through. What were we shooting at? Crimson Langer. Crimson Langer takes two more damage. And that was from the Mastodon. Mastodon. Oh, way over there. Chippies. Sorry. That's right. Ooh, is that short? No! Oh, he did it on purpose. <laughs> that is right. Oh, I did I that on bad. purpose. I need a new cam here. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Cancel. Let's let's do your mode this first. Uh, it won't be rear shot. So don't Andrew. freak people out. On the Wraith? Wraith is gonna have to be. Four, five, six, nine. This can't shoot anything. These guys could shoot out, but it's plus one to shoot out. True. Sure. Well, <clears throat> not if it's that way. I can shoot them at the. Oh yeah. The other way. So That's correct. The four. Two, three, three. Shoot me the bunker. Oh no, not shooting the bunker. That looks Seven. like. Oh, uh, looks like a tur. Seven's the hit? No, no, no. It's oh. The, uh, it's uh, the BA. Oh, the golems are shooting. Are you okay. Kidding me? They whiffed. Oh. <clears throat> Needed sevens, got a whiff. Smoke them if you got them. We are done. That's one of our big things. Is we same target. Like to have a nice cigar when we do Thursday night throwdown. I enjoyed a back a rack earlier, and now I'm on to a Arturo Fuente Grand Reserva. Any damage? One damage to the Crimson Langer. Crimson Langer takes Asher, one same damage. Target. He is left uh, is with short? one. I can't tell. One arm off. The shorter medium. Looks like we're going mm -hmm. Asher to the. Uh, That's short. Okay. Asher so to the Crimson Langer. One hit. Three structure left. There is all the armor gone on the Crimson Langer. Thanks to the Asher. Oh, dirty dice. Got it. Short range. Seven. Looks like we got sevens to hit. Skill one, 96 point Crimson Langer. Mastodon shooter, ready? Yep. yep. I believe he did. Yep. Yep. Making sure you're. Uh, what's next? Tier. There's a tear in my bear. The other side of the board. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put that bad boy down. I don't know how that glare on. He'll shoot at them salamanders. <clears throat> Sally's. Ooh. Strange. 
four. We're gonna shoot five, some salamanders. Six. six is the hit. And one, hit. one, two, hits. two. The other salamanders. There is no motive. Surviving for salamanders. salamanders. Take two damage. <clears throat> Fifteen minutes left in the round. Fifteen minutes. Four one bunker. Four. Looks like we're going to the Oro. Blue. Seven's the hit. Uh, one. Cock dice. Where's all them 12s, Matt? <laughs> uh, gnomes on... Oops. Look at me being a dumbass. There we go. Three. Fours. Fours to hit on this one. Oh. One, Dead. Three, <laughs> that was this one. All you needed was one. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. Cause I, I think that one was the green one. Yep, that was the green one. Oro in the bunker. Going back to the Oro in the bunker. From the Contio. Needs to, a, needs to put a hurt on this one. Two hits. Roll for motive. Two damage on that one. Eight. Nothing. For those of you wondering, a six, a seven, and an eight are a no critical on the vehicle critical hit. That was a motive. Oh. Well, the statement still stands true. <laughs> Sorry. But Tommy is correct. Matt was rolling for motive, and eight does nothing to track vehicles. Short range, five. Looks like we're going back to the same Oro. Charger. Charger has. Should it? All you did was kick last turn. Uh, so he, he the nope. Heat. He got the two heat this turn. I okay. believe, right? Because the salamanders fired two damage to eat. Okay. She did. Mm. Oh. They didn't fire. Did they? But did your salamanders do two heat last time? Before they died? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, they did. So your, your charger is at two heat. Okay, correct. For this turn. <laughs> Four heat? Four, five, six. Seven, oh, six. yes, because he took two more heat. So he will be shut down. One, two, three. Four, two, one, two misses. Even the chat missed that one. Two misses, so. Way to go, three, chat. Four hits. All right. Four hits to the Oro. Roll critical. Two, three. Hip and a prayer. Five. Mm. That is uh, fire that is control. Fire control. Roll for motive. Ten minus two. Six minus one. I think that's everything. Kill the rest, Tommy. <sighs> Got some work to do, Tommy. Yeah. You All right. got some um, work how much? to do. So the charger will be shut down? Charger will be shut down after this turn, but there's ten minutes left. How much does this guy have for armor structure? 
Three, two. Five, four. Five, four. Yep, Tommy wins. Did you take Mount Infantry cover with your... I did. It depends if the vehicle's in the way, though. Six. This is correct. Uh, so my Crimson... Okay. Only for the storm. Yeah. Crimson Langer is going to fire at the BA. So for everybody now paying attention, I just really got up and realized there's BA in the wedge of that bunker. So, so one... Tommy's got this in the bag. One. So it's automatic. Six damage. So yeah. it's Crimson Langer is going to do yeah. one. Oh, it's an automatic hit. One. So Short range. Battle armor do, plus one. I'm going to do five damage to it, and I'm going to do secondary target as the at the. Eldinger. Yeah. Eldinger. Yep. The Humha. So yeah. golems are dead. Golems are dead. Uh, so the secondary target, so one, two, three, four, plus additional one for it being secondary target, five. Time to this. Miss. Ah! <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> he tried to do a secondary target to the hum hog. He needed fives to hit and he rolled a four. All right, uh, Wraith to the uh, hum hog, uh, three sixes. Good lord, two damage to the Elding or whatever. Yep. That. Two damage to the hum hog. So, yeah, it gives you a crit. Roll a crit, please. Come on, take it. Ten. Mmm. Uh, fire control. Fire control? Weapon hit. Weapon, weapon. Oh. Interesting. Ten critical on vehicle. What is, how much is left on that vehicle? Two structure. Two structure. How much is left on oh, that? Rhyme router is freaking clean. Clean. He is untouched. Onuris will fire at the at the Eldinger for five six, Eldinger. Seven. The Eldinger ring. Seven. <laughs> right, four sevens. Sevens to hit at the Eldinger. One, two damage. Oh, that will do it. Toast. I'll get my calculator out. The, uh, the Ryokin will fire at the Asher three sixes. Asher. Dead. Oh, where's the Asher? There it is. He's easily going to get all these. Okay. Good job, Tommy. Keep going. The Nurus is going to fire at the Charger. Yeah. Two sixty-five. He'll, he'll take all. He'll take all. Four, five, six, seven. Um, six, all right. Seven. Sorry, folks. We are on the far one over here. Seven, seven, so we get three plus additional one for being in the rear. Okay, seven. Shooting at the charger. Yep. 
Two damage to the charger. Okay. And a mile to go. Green dice or the heat dice from the opponent. It doesn't really matter. Eep. Yeah, I'm shutting down that. <laughs> um, opponent or charger? Four, five, six, seven. Two damage, two heat, to the charger. Two more damage. Okay. Two damage, two heat, or yeah, two damage, two heat, and additional one from the salamanders. Sevens. It's like we're going from the salamanders to the charger. One more damage from the salamander to the charger. To the charger. Elapse. The the <laughs> dead Oro. Four, four. This will be four sevens. Oh. Oro to the charger sevens. Three damage to the charger. That's all the armor. Okay. Three damage from the dead Oro. That's all he has because he has a minus one. It's like going the other Oro. So four sevens. Seven eight. Seems like a popular number. One. Two damage to the charger. Roll it right. Seven. MP. CR. He laughs at your MB Minus hit two. while he shuts down. Five, five, five. No, hit. no hit, no crit. Two left on him. Ooh. Okay. You get him, you get three <laughs> points. You get him, you get everything. I don't know why you decided to go for the charger. Because <laughs> it's. Well, the Rhyme Otter is untouched. Yeah, that's true. Contio would have been. Of course, he doesn't have shots at the Contio, does he? Demolisher to the charger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, finally a different team uh, target to hit number. There's one, two, one, one. I'm blind. Roll a crit. <laughs> Pip and a prayer, Matt. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Fire control. <laughs> oh no, eight is a weapon. Yeah, you got you got resistance on that bad boy. All right. I have one more shot. I have a downed helicopter that's immobile. Oh boy. He has one. At medium range. <laughs> he does. Does he have a shot? He has one. He has, medium, he has a turret. Oh my gosh, it is a turret. <laughs> but he's that skill set. His DIY, his DIY multi purpose VTOL has a turret. That's a good unit. If he's had, down, immobile. He if, doesn't get a standstill bonus. If only we had a miniature for the DI. Mm. No miniature for the DI. Mm. I think there's a metal one. No? Oh. Bummer. Six. Otherwise, I think I have it. Oh, he's a skill six? He's a skill six, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Skill six. Hold on, hold on before we roll this. All right, so we've got the down helicopter, and it's the middle of your screen. He's got a medium range shot to the charger. Charger has one structure left. And that DI multi purpose VTOL is a skill six. 
Elevens. Elevens to hit. Here we go, Mikey. Wow. Wow, Mikey from Valhalla calling him out. Can it happen? Can we get it? Oh! <laughs> and he rolls a natural. Hold on. Throw it up. Big screen. It's a natty for the win. For the perfect score. Look at that bullshit. Oh my goodness gracious. Ladies and gentlemen, I have seen it all. One damage left. An 83 point. You pumped everything into that thing. If only my building was that much. <laughs> Jab, Tommy. Oh my goodness gracious, I cannot believe that just happened, ladies and gentlemen. He invoked the power of Mike from Valhalla Podcast, the second best Battletech podcast on the airwaves these days, <laughs> and conjured up a natural 12. He needed an 11, and he went, nope, plus one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, let's get these, uh, let's get this updated here. We have a three to nothing win. Blowout. Blowout. If that's what you want to call it. Three, let's save it. Tommy clears the search and destroy. And on the last roll. Boy, that's why you stick around and watch till the very end. Right, everybody? Time expired. Needed. A miracle. And he got one. Tommy destroying plus 83, destroying 348 PV, clears his demoralize. Let's take one last final look around the battlefield. Get rid of this dice cam. Well, we'll leave the dice cam. In fact, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna Zoom in on this baby here. And we'll just parade that around under Tommy's name. There it is. The double twelves. It happened. Crazy, crazy, crazy game. Uh, let's add video capture dice. And you know what? We're just we're just gonna add the dice cam. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna add the dice cam. I'm just gonna leave them bad boys in there. For all to see. Greetings. Welcome back to the shop everybody. Uh, coach here, your humble loan commentator for tonight. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, don't pay attention to those host guys. You know what? That's that's no. Nope, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stand for it. Not gonna stand for it. We're gonna get rid of these guys. Hold on. Bear with me for one brief moment. Metal Ed's gone. Goober's gone. Bobby's gone. It's just me, and Tommy, and Matt. Are you kicking people off? No, they weren't even on. They weren't on. But I have their logos on, so I wasn't going to abide. The dude was not going to abide that. Hosts, right here. Right there, and right over there. So, thank you everybody for watching tonight's 
Epic playtest round number two. Um, well, it ended quite exhilarantly. Matt will disagree. <laughs> what are you talking about? You shot my black lantern's head off, right? In the That's field. true. You did have a headshot, Matt. I mean, come on. You did have a headshot. That was that was pretty sweet. I had like six or seven balls. You rolled out of your mind. There we go. Now I feel now I feel and, like we're talking. And couldn't get an objective. <clears throat> True? You had a hard setup. I know how that was. Last week I had the bunkers. Yeah. That's why it's we need to work on that. Yeah. Let's get real here, folks. Let's get real here. Alright. Bunkers so, are hard. I've been paying attention to the chat and we have some very, very smart people in the chat today. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you stayed for the exhilarating uh, end, um, this is what Wolfnet. Hold on, let's let's do this. There we go. This is what Wolfnet's all about. We play test and we test and we test and we test and we test. And so when we're developing our epic here. We, we like to, you know, find things out. And last week, we played a game, made some changes, and uh, implemented them this week. Now, there's, there's two things that I would like to discuss, and we're going to keep this short. Uh, two things I want to discuss with um, the buildings, right? So... In Blackout, and and some of you may be new and you don't know what we're talking about, go watch last week's video. Um, blackout is we remove the building modifiers because they are essentially high-powered communications towers that are shielded and all this other stuff. So you don't get like your targeting rectangle will not. It'll, it'll get fuzzy when it tries to pick up the building because of its, of its natural defense capabilities. We did not transfer that idea over tonight to search and destroy where, you know, the opposing player has their hidden depots in buildings and maybe we should, I agree with Matt, maybe we should up the construction value or the, the hit points of the four buildings in the center. Now, the tough part about search and destroy is you have four buildings and you have to scan all four in order to find out which one's which. Now, I would say, you know, out of the gate, if that's your main objective, all of your fast movers should be moving to the center line. And it, I mean, even if they're going to die, you're, you're picking out which building is which, right? That would be my, that would be my approach to search and destroy. Like if, you can't really defend against that. You can't defend against it, but you know, it also depends like, oh, well maybe you have demoralized Matt and he's offering their buildings so they gain cover and all this other stuff. It's, it's, it's a challenge. I, I agree. Search and Destroy is not only a challenge for the person who draws the card, but also for the, the player defending it because you do know which building is which building. So if you wanted to, you could do the exact same thing and just block them from getting within two inches. Well, if you, I mean, if you have those movers, you can. And, and, and again, there's some things maybe we should do where maybe it's not the end of the movement phase that you scan a building. Maybe it's the end phase. Right? So there's, there's multiple layers here. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, Don, I will agree with you after two play tests of Infiltrate. That needs to change. Something with Infiltrate needs to change for an epic format. Um, is it going to three bunkers and you need to Infiltrate two? Is it changing where the bunkers are at? Bunkers is tough. Um, bunkers is, tough. Is, it, is it moving the bunkers possibly towards the center line of, of the, the map? But then revert, you know, then have it face back towards the opponent's edge, where you give some ground, but you can't shoot at it straight on, you know. I mean, the idea with bunkers is to utilize your infantry and all that other stuff. And if you have a fast-moving VTOL with with battle armor, I mean, unfortunately, it's one of those where do you win or lose initiative on the first turn? Um. Lots of lots of moving parts here. I think I would say blackout is okay. Let's let's you know if I'm gonna go from what's good to to what needs fixing. Blackout. We changed the building HP to twenty from from fifteen. So and 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 the blackout towers don't get the the immobile target. So I think that is good. But that has a, a real world kind of a wrap in, in the thing. Sorry, I was thinking of extraction. Extraction, uh, well. You might have to rethink that one. I, I would say, I would say maybe extraction could be moved five inches towards the center. But again, I don't want to bottleneck the center. Um, You know, that, that's, that's one of my big fears is, is, or is there two buildings in extraction? And as long as you get one of them out, you win or you get the objective point. Uh, I understand we're focusing on one point and that's why it's a secondary. It's only one, one objective point. Um, I, I can see where that is tough, but it's supposed to be tough, right? It's not supposed to be easy. Um, Tommy with the search and destroy did spend a turn uh, scanning a building that wasn't scannable. Now, for instance, if you play it back and Tommy would have done, I'm going to send my VTOLs my fast movers to every single building and scan them all in one turn, you know, what would that have done? I, I think Matt would have gotten a lot more of his fast units out of the way because Matt was also moving towards the center. Uh, let's see, basically impossible without more turns, faster play would seem. Yeah, that's, that's the... So that's that's the rub. That's the ultimate rub, right? We're trying to do a large scale format that can be played at conventions, tournaments, your pickup games at your local uh, game stores, but keep them to you know. I got I got three hours. Let's I can bring my epic list. Let's play epic. Um, we also went combined arms though too. We went three rounds, I think. Which, it's a lot, even with combat group movement. Um, it, it's a lot. It, you're gonna get three to five turns, maybe. Four would probably be your, your median, you're gonna get four turns. So, um, Maybe with like 10 units aside, 15 is more. We already tested this, we, you, you have to have more units. Ten, 10 is hard to get. Well, 10 is hard to win. And, and you still the we're, we're sitting here discussing like unit size and this and that. The, the reason for Epic is to have a lot of units on the field, right? Uh, we have the Alpha Strike 350 format. And that is, you know, there's a reason we have 250 point value on the field is 
to get those games in 120 minutes. You know, from finish to end, that's that's our goal. Um, what if instead of playing the whole match? You know, you, you start bumping the time limit up to three hours. What if you did that? Then you're looking at, well, then you, then you have to start limiting yourself to, you know, three-round tournaments, which is fine. Um, that's that's what we're here to test. That's what we're here to play out. Um, I I do like the random card draw for missions. It forces players to make a balanced list, first of all, which is what we're looking for. Uh, we don't want the niche cheese. Uh, we want players to have to, like, oh, what if I draw this? Uh, you know that that's kind of the goal of Epic is to to bring a full trinary uh, company, you know, and these are level two kind of a thing or level three, uh, where you have a little mix of everything and you have to play that way. Um, if Tommy had moved all of his fast movers to scan four buildings, means round two is all focused on the buildings to destroy. Yeah, uh, if Tommy did move, yeah, the true. Um, but also, you have to look at what Tommy was going up against, right? So Tommy knew that Matt had to go full-fledged across the board to get his objectives. He had to send all of his forces to the other side of the board just to, just to accomplish his two, his two uh, objectives. So um, he couldn't extend his lines that far. Uh, like Tommy, what are your fast movers? You've got a DIY. You got you got three VTOLs and half to three quarters. Is what else do you have? What's your what's your second fat? You got opponents. Okay. But your opponents couldn't get there, right? My opponent, the the Onuris is are the only two twenty inch movers. Okay, so he only had two units that could technically get within the twenty inches, and now that we're ruling out sprinting. Those are the I mean, search and destroy is going to be tougher because, you know, it's it's 24 inches into the map. You need to be base to base or within two inches. So you're looking at 20 inch, 20 inch, next, and basing on what you're using for building size, uh, only, 20 inch movers. But you only have to destroy one building. I, I agree. No, I, I, I'm with you where I think it needs to go from 20 to 30 because you need to you need to level out the luck factor. If you luck into getting the first building you scan or you commit all your units to scanning all four buildings at the same time, it needs to be a grind to take that building down as well. It can't just be like, found it, one objective point, destroyed it next turn with four mechs, and we're done. Um, it did take five, six units. It took, it took all, it took six units How years to destroy it. Time we lost a few units. I lost uh, six. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six units. His DI was about ready. He had one pip left on his other Oro. Oh, at the end of it, yeah. Yeah, at the end of the game. At the end of the game. So, um... Yeah, a lot of, lot of things to go back. Let's see what chat's got. Uh, more turns seem to be the way to get that one done. Maybe go down to 500 PV. I mean, it's... You won't get 15. You're, you're not... Well, you will get 15, but you're not going to be able to skill them down. You'll have, like, light medium. But, but again, That's this true. game is meant to be played with, like... Bring the, the skill, you know, I know we limit two skill twos. We give you the, the, the elite pilot at skill one. Um, uh, Don mentions 35 points construction value on the support depot. 
I think we'll try 30. See how that goes. Um, Honestly, 500 at that point, that feels like a double game to me. Yeah. You know, we already have something yeah. doubles. Yeah. So. Five, 500 is, is doubles. Uh, and we're kind of we're, we're mixing around things here, so um, definitely a lot of things to look about uh, to to take away from this game as well. Uh, we also played we never played Extraction, and uh, we never played Demoralize. And frankly, you got Demoralized on one hell of a roll. I got lucky. The double twelves you're seeing right next to Extraction. Extraction. Would uh would uh, I. If the only one we haven't played yet is breakthrough. Breakthrough, we haven't played breakthrough. That was pr that's probably the easiest one. Mm. Depends. Well, sounds like we're playing breakthrough next weekend. Yep. Or oh, well maybe we'll see. Sure. Um, that's why it's a play test. You're right, Don. That's why we're play testing. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys are getting why we're doing this. Um, hopefully it's entertaining for everyone. Um, yeah, we got a new camera set up. I might, I might change the God mode, a little less hat and top of head, but, uh, uh, please let us know what you think. Um, hit us up on Discord and Facebook and all the other things. Um, yeah, if, if you guys are able to help us out on Patreon, I know we didn't have anybody tonight, which is a weird thing for commentating. Hopefully I did a good enough job. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I tried. <laughs> it is always nice to have someone else to talk to, but uh, these guys got pretty into their games. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, I want to thank you all for, for watching tonight. Um, it's getting close to 12 bells here. so. Uh, I think we're going to close her down, and uh, again, thank you to all of our existing Patreon members. If you are not a Patreon member, go ahead and just check us out. Uh, I did get a little, for those of you who are still watching, I did get some uh, some workup models of the new C-Bill template. So, uh, those could be coming your way soon. So, be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, check us out on everywhere else. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And like it. Um, and like it. Apparently that thing does something too. I don't know. Or ring the bell. I don't know. I haven't watched enough YouTube videos to understand. But they say it all the time. So I'm going to say it too. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to Matt and Tommy, our players tonight. I might have to, uh, might have to jump in the ring next time we'll see also uh ooh, do i tease this or not alternate ammo maybe 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 maybe, maybe. have a good night everybody enjoy your weekend and tune in next week good day All units proceed to your post assignments. All units proceed to your post assignments.